exclusive. A new lawsuit accuses Dowling Catholic High School and several of its staff members of negligence after a student reports a sexual assault on school grounds. KCCI's investigative reporter Alex Schumann spent the day combing through court documents. What did you find, Alex? Yeah, Ray, this is a civil lawsuit. Dowling Catholic High School is accused of inflicting emotional distress, negligence, and invading the privacy of a, a young woman who claims she was sexually assaulted. A new lawsuit claims a student was sexually assaulted in a parking lot on the Dowling Catholic High School campus in August 2017. The suit also claims how the school handled the situation added to her suffering. Devastated. Devin Kelly is one of the attorneys representing the young woman. These things need to be handled professionally, legally, and sensitively. Kelly says she reported the incident to the school, but it was handled inappropriately because both of the accused young man's parents work at Dowling Catholic. Things were handled differently and inappropriately and unlawfully than they should have been. Examples of what he means by differently are in the lawsuit. They claim the principal told the young woman's name to the parents of the accused. They assigned the student to attend a class taught by one of the young man's parents and the school counselor told her not to report it to police because it could ruin the young man's life. At one point, the lawsuit says she was suffering so much, she checked into Mercy Hospital. We believe there's a lot of context that needs to be understood about the relationship. Elizabeth Archer represents the young man involved. She says the two young people were in a relationship. We would like to make clear that our client adamantly denies committing any sexual assault or any un other unlawful act against the plaintiff. Dowling Catholic's statement on the lawsuit said in part, an important priority is to create a safe and trusted environment for all of our students. While we cannot comment on any pending litigation, I can assure you our faculty and staff are well trained to follow a specific process if a student reports an incident. We believe the representation of our employees' actions is inaccurate and look forward to resolving this matter through the appropriate legal channels. You know, both students have graduated. Since the young man is not facing any criminal charges, the young woman's attorney says that they are hoping that this will prevent anything like this from happening again at Dowling Catholic High School. Rhea?